Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the new makeup releases and my thoughts on them. No crazy intro, let's just get right into it. All right, if you guys can tell what collection I'm wearing, a new video will be out tomorrow. Um, the first thing we're talking about is the LYS Cream Glow Blush Sticks. So we know about the beautiful bronzer sticks. I'm actually really excited about these because um, I love the bronzer sticks and the fact that they're coming out with blush sticks now is so exciting. So there's, there's a really nice shade range here too to accommodate all skin tones. I feel like this is a hard maybe. I'm really, I, I'm really stepping back on my makeup purchases right now, but I don't know. I feel like this is a hard maybe. My guess is that they'll be like, oh, they're gonna be 20 bucks each. So that's like not even bad for Sephora prices. Um, it has green tea extract, watermelon seed extract, and rose hip oil. And it's an easy to blend, instant pop of color, dewy ultra chemo formula. I'm interested in this. Like I said though, it is a maybe. So I'll get back to you on that. Next we see that Morphe is coming out with a new foundation or has. Interesting. So we have the Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. It is at Ulta. I've seen this on their website. Um, it's a weightless second skin foundation that's clinically proven to improve skin's natural radiance, hydration, and barrier function in just one week. I've never heard a foundation saying, claiming to, like, improve the skin's barrier. I think that's a first for me. So it's hydrate skin immediately and up for 16 hours, long wearing, sweat proof and waterproof, a buildable medium coverage, diffuses imperfections instantly, natural radiant finish. 36 shades for 20 bucks. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of over Morphe. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like they really skimped on these deeper tones. Looking at the swatches, a lot of these pull very red, and that's not the undertone of every deep complexion. And I also feel like, in general, this is a very orange undertone foundation. I don't think that they did well with the deep shade ranges which I feel like I say this in almost every single video, you guys can afford to expand the shade range, right? I, this is a no for me. Um, I think there's better things out there. And honestly, I don't even think there's a shade that would properly like match me. I feel like everything is just so warm, like so orangey. I thought we were past this. All right, Natasha Denona is coming out with the Hyper Face Na Natural Face Palette. So it's 62 bucks. That's just like so much money. Like thinking about this, like come on, Natasha. Um, it looks like we have like five eyeshadows, a little bronzer trio, and then um, a blush duo. So the the bronzing trio is light, medium, dark. It's not gonna be accommodating of all skin tones. The blush is kind of cute. This is not for me though. So this is a pass. What is for me though is the milk um, what are these called? The Kush Hydrating Sheer Tinted Lip Oils. Everyone's coming out with lip oils right now, and I'm not even mad about it. I think this is a really good idea for milk. I feel like not a lot of people talk about them very much, besides like their two or three viral products. This is a good way for them to um, go viral, in my opinion. So we have a sheer, non-sticky tinted lip oil made with hydrating oils that deliver an instant hit of hydration and shine for smoother, fuller looking lips. Um, what's really cool is that with these shades, they also say what flavor they are. So Green Dragon is uh, clear with a sage and peppermint flavor. Dream Machine is a mauve with a guava flavor. Ooh, that's fun. Chocolate Cake is a chocolate brown with a cacao flavor. Orange Crush is orange with a citrus flavor. Cookie Dough is Rosy beige with a Tahitian vanilla. Okay, that sounds amazing. And then pink magic is hot pink with a watermelon flavor. So the vanilla and the watermelon, I think, are more me, even the guava. Sage and peppermint, not for me, but I feel like it's like not milk if they don't put out a Kush product that doesn't have green in it. I'm definitely curious about these, that's for sure but I don't know. It's just that they're 26 bucks. That's the only thing that kind of sets me back. So this isn't obvious, like obviously I'm not gonna get this, but I think this is interesting. So Dyson came out with a ceramic pink and rose gold color scheme 
for Mother's Day. This is really cute, actually. I like this. Um, so they have the Airwrap Multi Styler and Dryer, the Supersonic Hair Dryer, and the Air Straight. All these are like $500, and I don't need one because I already have a Dyson, so I don't need this. But I have heard, like, through the Dyson Hair Reddit, that the ceramic isn't as good as just like the regular plastic. I feel like we called it, like, Dyson's coming out with more and more products, and um, I think it's good that they're diversifying their product range. Next, we have another product from Tarte. Um, Tarte is coming out with the Maracuja Juicy Lip Vinyl. This has three finishes. Why does this have three finishes? I I'm confused. So it's the glossiest, shiniest, juiciest formula that drenches lips in a slick, wet look finish. Soft blurring effect minimizes the look of lip lines and is always comfy, never sticky. It is a mirror shine balm which you can even tell by the swatches, like these are shiny. And gloss and color all in one, leaves your lips with juicy with three finishes, sheer, shimmery, and full coverage. Oh, now that's kind of cool that they're doing that. I like that. Um, it's $26 though, once again, yikes, that's a lot. I do wanna try these. I love the Maracuja Juicy everything. I love them. So we have sheer colors, and we have lots of shimmering colors. I don't know, this again is a hard maybe for me, just cause it's like so expensive. I feel like around the holidays they will have like a, a set that will include like the plumping, the juicy, and then the lip vinyl. I, I hope that's the case. I don't know, but I might hold out for that. There's a new collection from Hard Candy. Um, it is the Girl Scout collection. So this is actually a really cute idea, especially for this time of year when Girl Scouts are selling their cookies. So they, they're inspired by and scented like your favorite Girl Scout cookies. Um, they have the, they have one for like Thin Mints, the Coconut Caramel, and Trefoil. I don't know what that one is. I'm, I'm not really educated in the whole Girl Scout cookie realm. <laughs> I was never a Girl Scout or anything. But they have eyeshadow palettes, lip oils, headbands, mascaras, lip markers, highlighters, primers, press on nails, nail stickers, um, powder puffs, like they kind of like thought of it all with this collection. I think that's really cute, especially if you were a Girl Scout, if this brings up nostalgia. For me, I just don't need this, so I'm gonna pass. Okay, NYX came out with these matte buttermelt bronzers. Can anyone does anyone else see the pink undertones in these bronzers? When I think of bronze, I think of like a bronzy undertone. I don't know, maybe I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> but um, this formula melts into skin delivering a buttered up bronzed finish and silky smooth skin. Um, 12 hours of wear, 10 bucks. I, I just like, it. I don't know. Like I can, I like, I like it in the reel that they kind of show the after effect, which looks really pretty. But I feel like it just kind of catches me off guard in the beginning. I'm looking at this now. I'm, I'm curious. I might pick this up just for the heck of it, you know? All right. Essence came out is coming out with this so mesmerizing mermaid collection. This looks really cute, by the way. <laughs> I love this. Um, there's a liquid lip balm, blush stick. Shimmer lip oil, nail polish, glitter top coat, color changing lipstick, hydrogel eye patches, and an eye and face highlighter glaze. This is cute. I might be interested. I don't know. But this is really cute. The Essence is coming out with a lot of stuff right now. Something I'm really quite interested in actually. This is from Urban Decay. It's their Face Bond Waterproof Liquid Foundation with Niacinamide. I'm a niacinamide girl. I love niacinamide. Um, this is a three-in-one foundation. Listen to this. A foundation, a serum, and a setting powder. This is what I'm interested in. <laughs> um, it has 3% niacinamide. It's a self-setting powder that absorbs sweat and oil. 24-hour natural finish, lightweight. I'm I'm interested in this. Like, I, I want to try this out. Like, it's a self-setting foundation. I have to try this out. I, I, I have to. All right. And then Jisoo is coming out with new shades of their Honey and Fuse Hydrating Lip Oils, a watermelon, sugar, ma mango passion punch, and strawberry sorbet. 32 bucks each. I don't think these smell good. I, I just don't. And I am going to pass on them. I absolutely love 
this concept. This is from MAC. They're coming out with a Teddy Forever collection for all the velvet teddy lovers. So that's a an iconic like shade from MAC. And I love that they're doing this. This is really cute. They have a face palette, lipsticks, lip glasses, like lip pencils, eyeliners, mascara, like, I think this is a really cute collection. Props to MAC for doing something like this. Honestly, I think this is a really good way to go in the market because I feel like MAC collections, obviously they don't have the hype that they used to, but if they're going to kind of pull in the nostalgia, kind of like ColourPop does and Glamlight and all those other collections, this is the way that they're pulling in nostalgia with their own products. And I think that's genius. So good job to MAC. I hope that they continue to do stuff like this and I hope they continue to thrive. This is really cool. This is from CoverGirl. So these are the True Blend Skin Enhancer Primers and Luminizers. So for the primers, they have a um, plush, which is to plump up dry skin, velvet to blur pores, cashmere to calm and co color correct redness, and sticky to, to tighten skin and grip makeup to last all day. Sticky primer. Like I get like the gripping primer and stuff like that. <laughs> sticky primer. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's cool that they're kind of like going along the line of the Milk Hydro Grip and the e.l.f. primers and whatnot. And then they also are doing skin enhancer luminizers. So very much like the bronzing drops, they do have a champagne color for light, um, lighter tones and then a warm bronze for deeper. It says it's available now. I don't know prices on them. My guess is like 12 to 15 bucks on each, which CoverGirl used to be a cheaper one. So surprised like all their prices are going up. Product from Milk Makeup. This is actually kind of unique. This is the Cloud Glow Primer. So this is a cloud-like foam texture that goes on clear, instantly preps skin to create a breathable, smooth base for makeup. It brightens, hydrates, and even skin tones so your skin's natural glow comes through. I, I like this. I think this is a cute idea, but it says it's coming soon. No price, nothing like that. My guess is going to be around like the 30 $35 price range to align with their other primers. Makeup by Mario is um, coming out with this Master Matte eyeshadow palette, The Neutrals. So this is like a cool tone neutral palette. This is pretty, but for $50, like, I just don't need this. I don't. It's going to be available on the 7th. I, I don't know. This just isn't for me. All right, and then the last product I really wanted to talk about here was... From Supergoop. This is perfect for their product line. Um, this is the Protect Tint Daily Skin Tint. So perfect because I feel like they're going into the realm of like shimmering sunscreens and all this other stuff. They're going into skin tints. I think this is a perfect kind of merger into like the makeup realm for them. Um, it has hyaluronic acid, SPF 50, zinc oxide, um, 14 shades. It's 44 bucks though. And I know Supergroup is expensive, but 44 bucks for a skin tint? In my mind, I'm like, really? That's a lot of money. Not for me. But I think this is a really good idea for them. And I do think that more companies are going to be doing this. Like we've already seen Summer Fridays do this. I do think others will follow in suit to kind of break out into the makeup world. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. We talked about a lot here, so let me know what you like, what you don't like. Hope you enjoy this one, and I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye!